Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a hands-on of Windows Phone 7 series. Um, recently they've put out a ton of new information, and included in that is the full developer's kit as well as the emulator. So today I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick walkthrough of the emulator, or more specifically the only app that's included, which is Internet Explorer. Um, but still, though, you guys can tell a lot of really cool features that will be included in Windows Phone 7. So I'll go ahead and walk you guys through it and show you guys what to expect. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, so to begin with, I'll go ahead and just show you guys a quick walkthrough. Um, so if you look down here, on the, the left button is the back button. Um, it's pretty much exactly as you think. It, fe it functions as a back button for a variety of different apps. It'll a exit out of an app or it can back up or whatever. Pretty much however you want to use it. Um, in the middle you have the Windows or the Start button. Um, this functions similarly to a uh, basically to the uh, Home button in an iPhone. Um, really basic, you know, nothing exciting. And on the right is a, the Search button. Now, the search button isn't wor working in this right now, obviously, because there's not a whole lot to search for. But uh, when you get the Windows phone, it will actually go ahead and allow you to pull up a full search, and allow you to go ahead and search through your phone, and search through all the kinds of data you have on it. So, and look up here, we have Internet Explorer, so let's go ahead and open it up. So, you see here, it's got a very cool interface, everything flips and turns, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool looking. So now that we're into the interface, we'll go ahead and go ahead and show you guys it real quick. Um, there's three, four buttons rather on the bottom, but I'll get to those in just a second. Let's just go ahead and give you guys a quick demo of the browsing. So we click on it, and then we pull up this keyboard. So we can go to any website we want. Let's go to Google. So we just type it out. And of course, this is an emulator, so it's not exactly how it will run, but just from uh, what we know from the emulator, it works really well. So it go ahead and auto completes it. So we just go ahead and click it and it will open it up. And you see here it loads very, very snappy. And of course, if we want to go ahead and type something on a web page, we just click on the specific thing. So, there we go. So, and as you guys can see, it auto zooms in. So now we can search anything we want. So we can search Engadget. So, we just punch in. And of course, if you can see here, right here, you see it will actually try to autocomplete your text. It will try to uh, Autocomplete slash spell check, which is really really handy, um, and of course it, it very nice where it allows you actually to pick it. Whereas on the iPhone, it actually go ahead and just does it for you. So we'll go ahead and just, of course, it doesn't know in gadget. So let's go ahead and click search. Okay, so just give it just a second, and now go ahead and pulls it up. So let's go ahead and go to in gadget and show you guys what it looks like on a full browser, or rather a full website. So, it does take just a moment to load, but it's really quite snappy. Um, definitely, I mean, just from my limited hands-on with this, and of course it's an emulator, but it seems just about as fast as Internet Explorer 8 on the computer. So, uh, i got to be thinking they're doing something here. So, it's real simple. We go ahead and scroll by just clicking and dragging along. And if we want, we can double-click, and it will go ahead and zoom in. Um, and of course it is still loading right now, so it's just a little bit slow. But uh, you can see here, guys, there's a lot of, uh, well, it's pretty cool. So we just scroll through here. Um, and go ahead and click on a link. It wants to, now it's a little bit slow, of course it is lo still loading, but uh, okay, there we go. So, yeah, as you can kind of see, the, the web browsing is, is pretty decent. I mean, not something hugely ahead of the iPhone. And obviously, we don't have any kind of multi-touch gestures, being that this is obviously not a full thing. It's just the emulator. But from what I can tell so far, it looks really solid. Uh, you know, it looks the browsing looks to be about on par with the 3GS. So, now let's go ahead and show you guys some more of the features. Let's go ahead and just get it to stop loading real quick. So, a couple more of the features are... Uh, Let's go ahead and open up the new tab page. So now you can load up a lot of new tabs. You can go ahead and kill them, or you can go ahead and add a new one. So let's go ahead and add a new one. And then it will just bring us up a new page, and of course we can do whatever we want. And if we want to go back to the new tab page, we can continue to load new tabs up however, lo however long we like. And there's also a favorites button. So it pulls up a really, really cool looking thing, favorites history. So we can go through here and pick whatever we want. So, uh, you know, you can go to Amazon or whatever. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and click on it. So, 
as you, right there you might have seen a little bit of the interface and you can see how it's very very similar to the Zoom HD and it's a really really solid interface I like it a lot um, and you can see here it actually loads up really nice you can back out just like with any of the other tabs go ahead so let's just jump over to our Gizmodo tab or I'm sorry our Engadget tab um, so let's go ahead and pull up our little drop down menu um, where it gives us a few things that we can forward. I suppose that's not working right now. I'm guessing that you're going to need to wait once the uh, email you go ahead and forward it. You can share, find on page, pin to start, and settings. Let's go ahead and click on settings and see what that's about. So, it's going to load. Maybe not. Okay, well, it doesn't look like that's working right now. And uh, I don't think pin to start is going to work either. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, you, just, you can see here, guys, this would be the home page. Obviously, it's very, very bare right now. But if we want, we can go ahead and pin a website to the home page. So, and if you want to click on it, it will go ahead and load it up in the browser. Of course, we have a bunch of tabs up right now. Let's go ahead and kill some of them. So, and you can see here, it's very, very slick looking interface. I mean, everything you do has an animation or something. But, yeah, guys, that is a quick hands on of the Windows. Phone 7 series, hate that name, of the web browser, obviously Internet Explorer. Um, now, of course, this is an emulator, so we haven't actually tried it out on a real device, but from what we can tell, it looks very, very solid. So, uh, I know from what I've seen here and all the videos, Windows Phone 7 series looks really, really solid. Um, and I, I can't wait to get a real hands on, actually use it on a phone with the full apps and everything built into it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching.